I, my name is Ben Fain Jr. I live in Aloha, and uh, I've lived most of my life here in Oregon, all but about three of 76 years. And uh, I, I drove for TriMet for 26 years. Since I retired for the past 13 years, I've driven a bus for a group called the Bus Project, a nonprofit here in Oregon who has acted politically with progressive issues and candidates. I, I have some things that I, I wanted to comment on and uh, I, about something that happened recently. It was the Washington County Forum, and Mr. McFarland, you spoke out there. First of all, I want to thank both you gentlemen for allowing me to speak and have this time. I, I, you gave a short history of the uh, of TriMet, I mean a recent thing, and in that you mentioned that you had settled a labor contract, and uh, in doing that you dropped define, the defined benefit plan for new employees, and that they are now participating in a 401k. Uh, I don't, didn't view that as a good thing, I never would, uh, but uh, uh, that was an accomplishment that you mentioned. Uh, we have a uh, an answer to that in this country, and that's this is not the only place that that has happened in, in labor contracts. Uh, and it's Social Security. We need every one of us in this room participates in that, uh, or has participated in it. We need to. Uh, uh, it's a nationwide plan, and it's working. We need to raise the cap so that everyone who is in this room right now could uh, participate for the full amount of their earnings. Uh, the cap now, I think, is at 107000 and there are at least a couple people in this room who earn more than that per year. Was that mine, or was that a phone? Oh, okay. Uh, uh, you also mentioned that you contracted out the LIFT program. Uh, and I believe that is, uh, it's called First Transit in our, our uh, interactions, uh, the union and the, uh, the uh, uh, district. And uh, uh, I'm not sure that this has been heard. In 2013, profits from First Student's U.S. school bus operations, so those are the yellow buses that have First Student on the side of them. Uh, their profits were approximately $40,000. Now, uh, it's my understanding that First Student is organized as a corporation in Scotland, and I assume that that money went there. I don't have the figures for TriMet and what they took out of TriMet, but it's interesting to note that uh, the buses they drive and the equipment they have have TriMet on them, and there's no mention of First Student. In my opinion, that's just to keep uh, from uh, letting the public know uh, what that equipment or who that equipment is being operated by or contracted to. Uh, That's three okay, I'll see you next month. Okay, uh, the other thing, and, and this is to both of you, uh, after that contract was settled, there was an article in the paper and the Oregonian, and it uh, said that. Uh, 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 you, Mr. Warner, had allowed Mr. McFarland to do a self-evaluation on his uh, his uh, accomplishments over a specified period. I'm not sure what it was last year or whatever. Uh, I thought that was kind of kind of strange that uh, a general manager would uh, be able to evaluate himself. And then I think in that article also it stated that you had given him a raise or a bonus. Am I correct on that? I asked him to uh, give us, give him, give us, give me in particular his self evaluation, mm -hmm. and as a result of that evaluation, yes, his salary was increased. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and consistent, consistent with the market. Okay, Mr. McFarland. Even though those other things were mentioned as accomplishments, I didn't hear you mention uh, that accomplishment. I, I, I'm just about done. I've seen uh, the uh, things with the lighting on the uh, new bridge at Telecom, and. Uh, uh, to me, that's uh, mood lighting, and uh, I, I, I don't think that was free. I don't think the maintenance on that will be free. I mean, somebody contributed that, no charge. I would be surprised if you haven't had uh, uh, questions about advertising on that bridge, too. That's a possibility. Thank you very much for this time, and uh, thank you for the extension.